Okay, we'll begin there. Oh, thank you. Hello, Antonio. Uh, it's Antenna 5, Macedonia. My name is Boris. After the game um, against Atletico Madrid, you said that you need to beat every team that comes your way in order to be successful in the Champions League. How ready are you for Barcelona? How ready is your team mentally and physically for this big challenge tomorrow? You to translate? For no, 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 okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for, for sure, for sure, we are, we are talking uh, uh, about a massive, a massive uh, game, a big challenge for uh, uh, for us. Uh, we have to play against uh, a fantastic team, and uh, I think one of the best in uh, in the world. Uh, but. Uh, I think that uh, this type of game, uh, uh, we must be excited. We must be excited to to play this uh, this type of game against uh, against Barcelona, and uh, uh, for sure it, it won't be easy. It won't be easy because we are talking, I repeat, about uh, a fantastic team with uh, fantastic players. Uh, we are talking about Messi, Suarez, Iniesta, and uh, yeah, but finish here, but we are talking about the whole team. Uh, we must pay great attention, we must pay great attention, but at the same time, uh, we must have ambition, we must have ambition to try to uh, to play our football. Uh, we know we know the characteristic, uh, uh, Barcelona's characteristic, and uh, they like to have possession ball, they like to dominate the game. In every game, uh, they are able to create many chances to, to score. And for this reason, uh, we must be uh, prepared uh, to, yeah, to suffer, to suffer without the ball, uh, to be compact, uh, don't lose our head during, during the game, uh, and then to try with the ball uh, uh, what uh, we know, what we know, uh, what we try during, uh, during the training. Antonio, hi. Um, Barcelona go into this tie as the favourites, but you've proved before with both Italy and Chelsea that, that you do well with the underdog. Do you relish the challenge of people writing you off and trying to show, pe prove people wrong? Yeah, I think I think uh, 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 we start we start this game. Uh, uh, as underdog, for sure, and uh, because uh, yeah, Barcelona on the paper uh, is favorite uh, to go to the next mm -hmm. round. But for this reason, I think that uh, uh, we must be excited uh, to have this uh, this challenge. Uh, this game, these two games, uh, uh, will be very important to understand which is our level in. Uh, in this competition, uh, I think this uh, this is a great proof for us, and uh, yeah, we we work it, we prepare the well uh, this uh, this game. It won't be easy because I repeat, uh, we are uh, we are playing uh, against Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona, they are having uh, a fantastic season. They are top of the league. They are in final uh, in the cup in Spain. And uh, they have uh, uh, the potentiality to win uh, this uh, this cup, but at the same time, I repeat, we must be excited to to face this type of game, uh, to understand uh, which is our level uh, in uh, in the present, uh, and uh, what we have to uh, to do to improve in the future. Also, front here, Antonio. When when a, a, a team that you're facing has a player like Messi. Uh, a world-class player. Do you do you pay special attention to him, or, do you, or, or how do you deal with a player <laughs> like Messi? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is a good question. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are talking about uh, uh, the best player in the world, and uh, Messi has the capacity uh, to uh, to solve the situation. And uh, to to create a chance when uh, you uh, um, 
you are not seeing the chance to, to score. And uh, uh, this means that uh, this, uh, this player, we are talking about uh, a fantastic player. For sure, we have to pay great attention, but not only uh, to Messi, but Suarez is a, a fantastic striker. The whole team is very dangerous. In this case, I think that we have to work uh, as a team to try to stop uh, Barcelona. In this case, uh, uh, Messi, Suarez, uh, Iniesta, or, uh, but I repeat, the whole team uh, of, of Barcelona. We have to work, we have to work very hard. We had to know that during the game uh, we must be prepared to suffer, but at the same time we must have the uh, the idea that in every moment we can go straight to to try to to score. Okay, at the back, John. Antonio, at the back here, right at the back, right at the back. Yeah, yeah, from the BBC. Um, you said on Friday night that you were going to go home. You had some doubts about the team you were going to pick. Have you really agonised about your team selection for this match? Or really, have you known all along which team you wanted to play and the system you want to play against Barcelona? Yeah, I, I, think, I think that uh, uh, these days, uh, yeah, after, after the game uh, in uh, FA Cup, and uh, uh, I must be honest, and uh, is the... Uh, it was a bit difficult to 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 sleep, uh, to sleep, yeah, to sleep well, but not a lot, yeah, because when uh, uh, when uh, you have to play this uh, this type of game, and uh, uh, you have to prepare, you have to prepare uh, everything, you have to prepare uh, uh, big things, but you have to prepare the details because. The details uh, a lot of time move move the result. Yeah, I think that uh, uh, we have an idea. We have an idea. We have a plan in uh, in our uh, in our heads. Uh, yeah, I think I think that in this uh, in this moment, in this specific moment, for us it's very important to uh, yeah to to pick to pick the, the, the players that stay in, uh, in, uh, at the top of the form, the best of the form, and then uh, to, try to, tr to try to do our best during the game. In the middle there. Hi, Antonio. Uh, Christian Martin, Fox Sports, Latin America. Bo Boca Lupo. <laughs> Crevi Lupo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, means good luck in Italian. Um, Antonio, um, how, how big of a turning point could this uh, home and away tie with Barcelona be in terms of uh, you being a Chelsea coach um, you know, you, you, we all remember the physicality, the intensity of your Italia in, um, in, in the Euros, and, uh, but it's not something that it's not easy to keep up for more than one season. It's, it, it's very demanding on the player, on the squad. Yeah, uh, I, I, I repeat, uh, uh, as I said before, we are talking about uh, a tough game against a, a, a special opponent, a very strong opponent. And uh, uh, for this reason, uh, uh, we must pay great attention. We must pay great attention. We must have a plan. And uh, we must be prepared, uh, as I said before, uh, to suffer during the game, because Barcelona has specific characteristics. Uh, and uh, they like uh, to have possession ball. Uh, they like uh, to to dominate the game, uh, to create many chances, and uh, we know very well uh, which are the the characteristic of, of of Barcelona. But at the same time, uh, I think that we 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 studied we studied the opponent very well, and uh, now we have to we have to play we have to play and uh, and to try to do what uh, what we know. Yeah, I think uh, this is the uh, the only way that we can uh, we can do. Um, is there any more pressure on you and your team this week because of how well Spurs and Liverpool and Man City did last week? I mean, they all did really well in the Champions League. So does that make your job tomorrow, more, is it more pressure on you and your team to do well tomorrow? Yeah, I think, I think that uh, I don't know how, how many times I... Uh, uh, 
I, I felt no, this answer about, about the pressure. Yeah, but uh, this is football. Uh, the football is this. And uh, if, uh, if you want to, to compete uh, at, at the maximum level, uh, and uh, you have to live uh, with this pressure. And uh, uh, I think that uh, a team like Chelsea in every game has the, uh, must have the right pressure. Because uh, you have to try to, to play every game with the only one idea, to try to win. Uh, sometimes you are able, sometimes you are not able, but the, uh, your idea must, must, must be this. The pressure, uh, you have to live with the pressure. And uh, I, I repeat, if you want to stay at this level, and uh, the pressure must be your friend, not, uh, not your enemy. Tony. Antonio, uh, hiya. Um, you said that last season Chelsea produced a miracle to win the, the Premier League. What do you need to produce this season to beat Barcelona and maybe go on and, and win the Champions League? What do you need to produce this year? No, but um, I think that uh, for sure uh, we have to play a perfect game against uh, against Barcelona uh, tomorrow if we if we want to if we want to win uh, because uh, I repeat uh, on the paper uh, you start um, you start this. Uh, these two games with one favorite, and uh, this is Barcelona. And uh, I think that they hand this uh, uh, um, to be the favorite for uh, for the season, for uh, what they are doing uh, uh, for many years in uh, in uh, in football in the world. And uh, for us, uh, I, I repeat, we have to to try to work. We have to try to do our best. Then. Uh, at the end of the at the end of the game, if uh, if we are uh, uh, very good uh, to to win the game, uh, yeah, it will be okay. And uh, otherwise, uh, uh, it means that Barcelona was better than uh, than us. Okay, last two at the back with the headphones. Yeah. Hi, Mister. <coughs> uh, I'm Michel Hernández from from Marca newspaper in Barcelona. Te haré la pregunta en castellano. Um, on Saturday, Barcelona played a tough game against Eibar, which has obviously taken its toll on on the team. They played with all their starting eleven that, that that should play tomorrow. Well, Chelsea rested players against Hull. Do you think potentially Chelsea have had a bit more of rest before the game? I don't know. I don't know. I think I think that uh, when uh, you are at, at top of the table and uh, uh, you win the game, uh, I think that uh, uh, you you don't feel you don't feel the fatigue. You don't feel the fatigue. And uh, uh, in this case, uh, uh, we are talking about a Champions League game. And as, as you know very well, uh, in uh, in Barcelona there are uh, a lot of players that uh, live. To play this uh, this game, and that I used to to uh, to play this uh, this type of game. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think that uh, the game uh, against Eibar uh, can change something uh, tomorrow. Okay, last question, Luis. At the back. Yes, uh, Luis Restrepo, Direct TV. Uh, my question is, Antonio, do you think personally that you got the squad to face Barcelona and to beat Barcelona in terms of Death of the squad and quality, because we have been through this season talking a lot about the squad and the the, the, the signings that you had in, in winter, for example. But uh, now now uh, now we have to play. Yeah? We have to play, and uh, uh, we have to play to face uh, a great team like Barcelona with our strength and. Uh, uh, I think that uh, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, we must be excited. Uh, we must uh, we must play with the great enthusiasm, with the great uh, passion. Uh, because when uh, when you play this type of game, uh, you can start like underdog, but at the same time, uh, and uh, you start the the game uh, nil nil, and uh, uh, it, it doesn't matter uh, what. Uh, uh, 
yeah, what 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 the other uh, or, or what uh, the, the other said in in the past is not important. I repeat for for me now. Now the most important thing is the present. Is the present and to try to understand against a team like Barcelona, which is our level. And uh, I think this is very important. And for this reason, we must be excited and to understand which is we where are. Uh, in this moment, in the present, and uh, what we are doing, um, we have to do in uh, in the future to, to to improve this team. I think this is a great chance for for us. At the same time, I repeat, we want to try to get to get to the to, ne to the next round. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.